Yes, welcome back to Why in the Morning. And if you're a follower of Why in the Morning and Entrepreneurship Tuesday in particular, you know that we try to give you tips on how to make some back. And uh, forex trading is not an exception. And uh, we have had uh, topic, we have had discussions on forex trading here before, but today we take it a notch higher. We have the fam one familiar face and his teacher on set, Mr. Kadenga Lenin and David, all the way from Dallas. Karibu sana. Pleasure. I hope Ume Mfundisha yata karibu. Yes, he knows Karibu, <laughs> karibu. <and> Jambo. <laughs> Jambo. <laughs> Alright, so uh, since you don't get it, you can introduce yourself. Your camera is number four. All right, good morning. Uh, so my name is David Hoyt. Uh, most people know me as Mr. GJ uh, because I'm known for trading uh, uh, one particular currency pair, Great Britain Pound versus the uh, Japanese Yen. Mm -hmm. I'm originally from uh, Freeport, Grand Bahama. Mm -hmm. uh, I reside in Dallas, Texas for the past 17 years. Uh, recently, uh, this year, I've went full time in trade in the foreign exchange market and uh, I'm just grateful to be here in Kenya for the first time to just share my, my knowledge that I've been able to accumulate from the market. All right, what do you love so far about Kenya so much? Ah, uh, the food. And the food? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which one in particular? Yeah, it was some meat and beef where I had to eat it with my hand. Oh, you had to eat it with your hand? Yeah. Was so. Ugali there as well? I hope there was some Ugali. Yes, yes. Ugali was there. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Welcome to Kenya and uh, enjoy your stay. Uh -huh. Uh, Lenin, wana kujua wengine, lakini wengine maybe wana kuona for the first time. So your camera is number three there. Can you introduce yourself? Okay, I'm I'm Lenin Kadenge, and mm. uh, I'm a forex trader. Uh, since the beginning of this year, I've been doing it full time, and it's mm -hmm. a pleasure again to be with you once again. All right, Thank Mr. Lenin, is this your first time meeting your teacher in person? Yes, this is my first time meeting mm -hmm. him in, in person. Mm -hmm. Unlike uh, the other times we have been uh, interacting and meeting online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now this is my first time and I'm very happy to have him around. You're very happy to have him around. I'm very yes. happy to have him around as well. Yes. Uh, how does it feel like to meet uh, people you've interacted with online and uh, you've impacted some knowledge in them and they've used it to propel their lives forward? Now you can see it in living color. How does it feel? It's, it's a priceless feeling because, mm -hmm. you know, day in, day out, you know, with technology nowadays, you mm -hmm. can redo uh, meetings that's called Zoom, mm -hmm. where everybody, you know, around the world just logs on and you can actually interact with each other, mm -hmm. you know, show them, you know, what you're, you know, teaching them. They can mm -hmm. show you, you know, what they're trying to learn through, you know, the screens and, you know, it's, it's kind of like you know them in person. So when the first time I walked, you know, out of the airport, it was mm -hmm. so much love, like I met them for, for the longest. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's just a priceless feeling that, you know, you're able to impact so many lives lives all over the world and now to come here and see you know yesterday we were just trading in one room and people everybody was making money and the smiles and the, the excitement that everybody have from learning this skill set that mm -hmm. a few few months or maybe a year ago nobody had a clue on how to do it mm -hmm. so it's a, it's a priceless feeling you yes. say mm -hmm. all right uh, so uh <clears throat> Uh, what was your journey? How did you get into forex trading yourself so before we get to uh, you were teaching other people? <laughs> so, you know, I'm 31 years old. You mm -hmm. know, uh, I've been, you know, around money from the age of 20, you mm -hmm. know, from the insurance industry. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was not, you know, shy on uh, basically, you know, investing. I was in, you know, scared to invest and take a risk. Uh, so when this, the opportunity came, you know, to me about trading, you know, I, I was eager to learn how to do it because, you know, everybody told me that you can make money from your cell phone and on your laptop. Mm -hmm. And 90% of the day, my cell phone is in my hand. Mm -hmm. So I was able to capitalize on, you know, learning how to trade off of my cell phone mm -hmm. and make a lot of money, you know, for my cell phone instead mm -hmm. of, you know, helping other people make money from, you know, other avenues that you use on your phone. All right. So it was pretty, pretty decent. Like devil tapping on Instagram and commenting. Absolutely. <laughs> I didn't want to call that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I said it for you. I said it for you. All right, so uh, how long did it take you to learn before you felt like, okay, I think I can help other people? So when I started, you know, the platform, you know, was uh, basically we would learn, you know, from uh, IM Academy where we had a, our mentor. Her mm -hmm. name was Dr. Well, is Dr. Kathy Kirkland. Mm -hmm. And she would, you know, jump on early morning sessions where she actually trained you how to trade and help you get into the market. So basically I did that for three months before I even understood what the market looked like. Mm -hmm. Kind of looked like an EKG machine, you know, mm -hmm. at the hospital. And, you know, after uh, 
uh, after three months, basically. <laughs> it's scary. Yeah, yeah it, well, it is, you know, <laughs> in the beginning. And, you know, it's normal, but because uh, it's something foreign that you, you know, you don't have no clue about. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did it for about three months. And I just, you know, got a wake up call where I needed to learn how to trade by myself and mm -hmm. not depend on anybody else to help me make money. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, I was able to dive into the market. I have a buddy in the Bahamas, Jamal Green, mm -hmm. that basically he dissected the information in, in the academy. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, a few other mentors that, you know, I was able to come up with my own strategy where now there's thousands of people that's following that strategy. You know, so to be able to do that, you know, within two years mm -hmm. you know for me that's more of an accomplishment because I had no clue how to trade now you know I, I don't brag too much on myself mm -hmm. but I'm I'm one of you know probably one of the best scalp traders out there right now all right I like that I like the confidence as well and uh, Lennon has shared with me before that anybody can learn how to trade as long as you have the basic arithmetic knowledge uh, can you reinforce that can you absolutely <laughs> now here's the thing nothing in life we're having comes easy mm -hmm. so you have to put in the work mm -hmm. so the work is you know actually education mm -hmm. you know so you go to school basically to learn mm -hmm. you know like if it was business you would go to school to study business mm -hmm. and then come out and you get a business you know accounting job mm -hmm. well in this you're basically learning the skill set mm -hmm. you know once you learn the skill set nobody could take it away from you mm -hmm. it's kind of like riding a bike mm -hmm. you know once you learn how to ride a bike as a child mm -hmm. no matter how old you know you are you mm -hmm. can always jump on that bike mm -hmm. and ride even if swimming is the same thing same as well. thing all right I like. So, uh, Mr. Linen, yes. uh, when I look at Forex traders, you guys move as a unit. You guys have the love so much. You share a lot of information. Yes. What is uh, the, important, the importance of networking when it comes to this business? Because you guys are moving as a, as a group most of the time when I, see, when I interact with you. I think the importance of us moving as a group uh, and uh, the networking aspect of it is what I normally call the third eye. Because mm -hmm. uh, the market is so huge. Mm -hmm. There is something in the market I might have noticed mm -hmm. that uh, maybe someone else, can ha someone else can have a different view of it. Mm -hmm. So having that different view on how to go about the market and mm -hmm. then putting that together. Because at the end of the day, there is a phrase he likes using that... Uh, in the market, always uh, the, the house will always win. Mm -hmm. But if you put your synergy together as mm -hmm. a team, mm -hmm. you are definitely going to say this is this is this is the guy we are targeting. Mm -hmm. And so, if all we come together, and then we are able to come and win together as a team. So together you're stronger. Together you have more information. Yes. Together you have different perspectives. Yes. Together you're wiser. Together that is what you say. Because uh, uh, there is a there is a there is a strategy he knows. There is uh -huh. a strategy Wycliffe knows. There is a strategy I know. Uh -huh. So you will really want to look at it uh, when you want to make a fair decision, either mm -hmm. to buy or sell, mm -hmm. or en to enter into this market. Mm -hmm. If there is a confirmation of both your strategy that uh, now this is the direction to take, then you go into that market with a lot of confidence. Wonderful. Which yes. leads to my next question. And now we have the emergence of artificial intelligence and. Uh, some people are claiming that I can sit and uh, computer software can do the trading for me. Is this true? So you have systems, you know, where, you know, you could actually, you know, put a strategy in a system mm -hmm. where the system actually helps you make that decision. You know, I don't recommend just having a robot to call the trades for you. Mm -hmm. It's just because you don't want to be dumb dumbfounded about the market because, mm -hmm. you know, the market repeats itself and you have to analyze the market yourself to make the decision mm -hmm. whether you're going to buy that currency or you're going to sell a currency. Mm -hmm. So I always, you know, I look at it as, you know, it helps you out, but it doesn't make the decision for you. So I wouldn't, mm -hmm. you know, basically just focus on letting a system. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's, supposed, it, it's, it's supposed to support. There yes. you go. All right, it's not meant to do the training for you. True. Do you have anything to add on this? Yeah, I think, I think it's key because uh -huh. uh, you, you look at, uh, uh, again, the aspect, I'll ask, the aspect of learning. You mm -hmm. have invested in education, mm -hmm. so you would really want to make use of that uh, mm -hmm. education in terms of uh, uh, what is it that uh, I can uh, help or what is it that I can do mm -hmm. towards uh, really utilizing the knowledge I've uh, acquired. Mm -hmm. Again, if you go to the robot way, you're just uh, becoming lazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is, like he has said, it is there just to help. It's like, for example, right now we're in the digital world. We mm -hmm. just can't sit back and say now we are in the digital world, let everything 
be handled be by, handled. by no, machines and robots. It, it, it's hard. It's hard. We yes. could never do that for sure. Yes. All right, White 54 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White 54 on Facebook is the way to interact with us. If you have any questions, bring them our way. And remember, we have a question on Facebook. Uh, are you preparing for your retirement? That is a question on Facebook. So we are looking forward to your feedback. We'll be sampling them towards the end of the show. Uh, so back to you, my people. Uh, it is said that uh, in a, when there's tension, when there's that this market thrives on tension. Absolutely. Is that true? So the market, the way the market works. Uh, you have you know certain different currency pairs uh mm -hmm. that's volatile that mm -hmm. has you know high volume and some currency pairs that don't mm -hmm. uh for example uh you know great britain and uh the u.s dollar mm -hmm. you know kind of fluctuates a lot in the market depending mm -hmm. on you know the economy you know politics if uh mm -hmm. if you have uh information you know or news that you know came out that mm -hmm. can make the market volatile mm -hmm. and basically when the market's volatile you know some people can capitalize and make a ton of money uh -huh. when the market moves right. so it's a good thing when you do have the tension and you have you know you know uh news that makes that happen because uh -huh. if you're in the right direction and you analyze the market right uh -huh. you can make a lot of money all right then where are the ethics then like so <laughs> you just have to, so what i what i usually recommend is uh -huh. regardless of what's going on in the countries you know uh, i recommend you know following your strategy uh -huh. so when when you follow a strategy it doesn't matter what's going on in the world uh -huh. you know so for example you know right now we're dealing with with brexit uh -huh. all right so brexit you know it, it fluctuates the market a lot if uh -huh. we have a no brexit deal then the great britain pound would basically drop to the, to the ground. Mm -hmm. But if you're analyzing the market with your strategy, even if it drops, you can capitalize on making money in either direction. So it, it doesn't matter what direction the market's going, mm -hmm. you just have to know what direction you need to be in. It's either gonna go in, in a buy or go in a sell. Mm -hmm. And you make money in any direction. So mm -hmm. a lot of people, kind they, they, they get it confused with the stock market. With mm -hmm. the stock market, they teach you to buy low and sell high. Mm -hmm. With the foreign exchange market, basically you make money whatever direction it's going. You just have to be in that direction. So that is the main difference between forex trading and uh, the stock trading. Absolutely. So in forex trading, you make money either way. Yes. Buying or selling. Yes. In the stock market, you're taught how to buy at low and, and, and sell, sell at sell high. Sell Absolutely. The major difference. Thank you very much for that information right there. All right. So. Uh, Recently, I'd like to get your opinions on this. We, we had, uh, since you're currency professionals, we have the West African, the ECOWAS, talking about having a single currency and uh, doing away with the, with, 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 the, with the old currencies and having one currency called the ECO. Yes. And uh, some people are hopeful about this. Some people are not really hopeful about this. Yes. Uh, some people feel like the French colonies are going to be transferring the power to Nigeria since it's okay. the biggest economy there okay. and whatnot. Uh, do you think it's the right step towards uh, economic freedom for West Africa? I think, again, it all depends with uh, the, the, the economic block of, mm -hmm. of each and every region. Mm -hmm. Having in mind that uh, in uh, the West African region, they, they thrive so much on oil and mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, the co like gold and uh -huh. uh, cocoa. So yeah. if you find out that these commodities uh, are, are part of uh, the larger market uh, in the world, mm -hmm. then uh, to if they come together, it's a plus. It's a plus it's for basically them. They are basically putting their resources together and mm -hmm. uh, coming on the table and saying, uh, we are coming into this market. We also have a say when it comes to issues of oil or mm -hmm. when it comes to issues of gold or uh -huh. cocoa because they, they, they are, I think they're the third uh, largest in the world. Mm -hmm. Yes, so Supplies, uh -huh. yes, so when they come out that and uh, like I said in the beginning, unity mm -hmm. definitely gives you a voice. All right. And so to me, as they continue to pursue that, uh -huh. uh, they are pursuing that uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, with the, the fact in mind that uh, they have what it takes to move or to for their voice to be heard. So, so unity is always the way. It is always the way. Yeah. Unity yes. is always the way for yes. you. Uh, I won't <laughs> I won't put you on the spot so much. Uh, maybe these are African issues. You don't understand them per se, but maybe you can give us what you think. 
So with that, you know, he kind of answered that yeah. right. Uh, but it's kind of the same thing with any, you know, country. Uh, when you decide to, you know, put your, you know, your foot down and take responsibility for your country, I mean, you have a say. Mm -hmm. You know, and most of the time when you have a say, you know, the people have a say. Mm -hmm. So with different, you know, uh, things that you, you said, cocoa and, you know, mm -hmm. gold and stuff like that, by you guys having that here, you know, if they decide to go with one currency, you know, I would I would strongly recommend it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just my take on that. Make some stronger, for sure. It's time for the moment of truth. Mm -hmm. uh, ever since we started this conversation, people have had, uh, people have complained a little bit that we never show them how to do this thing for sure. So we'll be having a demonstration led by the teacher himself. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, we have the first slide on screen. Uh, so today you learn how to treat on why in the morning. And uh, Mr. Lenin, you had a disclaimer before we, we start this. Yes, I think the disclaimer is basically what we are showing you is, is out of uh, the strategy. Mm -hmm. Because again, as you go into the market, you need to have a strategy that you need to follow. Mm -hmm. So my strategy will work for me till until the time whereby I'm saying mm -hmm. it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But again, if you just hook on it quickly and uh, maybe along the way it seems it doesn't work for you mm -hmm. and you are kind of over, I think Lenin gave me a wrong strategy. Mm -hmm. And then that is the disclaimer we are putting it. This uh -huh. is this is someone else's strategy uh -huh. until you come to a point whereby you have your own. Uh -huh. Like we normally say, marry your own. Mm -hmm. That Strategies. is when you can say, now this is working for me. But whatever we are we are going to show is basically a strategy uh -huh. that again is is subject to someone again having a different opinion on it. Wonderful. Yes. So we have the disclaimer right there. Uh, without much further ado, let's get it. So uh, what platform is this first? So right now, what we're looking at is basically a free platform that's called TradingView. Most mm -hmm. uh, traders, they basically use this to analyze the trade, analyze mm -hmm. the market, mm -hmm. uh, maybe, maybe mark up the, the, their charts from here. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, this, the platforms that we usually you know, use is called uh, MT4, which mm -hmm. is MetaTrader 4. Mm -hmm. And this is simply done on your cell phone. Mm -hmm. you know where you can actually enter and exit a trade mm -hmm. or if you decide to do it on your uh, laptop you can download the uh, MT4 MetaTrader 4 on your mm -hmm. laptop so trading view is basically uh, where we usually go and just analyze the market mark it up and make our decisions there all right mm -hmm. all right so this trade trading view dot com Yes. Is it neat? Yep. So what are you looking at right now uh -huh. is basically, uh, if you look to the top left, uh, it basically says GBP USD. Mm -hmm. That stands for Great Britain Pound versus the Japanese, I mean, the, the US, US dollar. dollar. I'm uh -huh. sorry. So right now, you would have to the bottom of the screen is a RSI, stands for Relative Strength Index. Uh -huh. What this do is this measures the market uh -huh. on the volatility. So for example, when I'm teaching my students with this particular uh, uh, indicator anytime the market uh, is over 70 on the RSI mm -hmm. that means it is overbought and if something is overbought mm -hmm. it's going to turn into a sell uh -huh. all right and anytime the market on the RSI is under 30 mm -hmm. that means it is oversold mm -hmm. and if something is oversold what is it going to do go into a buy uh -huh. so this is just a small indication you know that could help you make a decision either to buy or sell mm -hmm. all right also we have uh on the screen where you have a cloud it's called a like ichimoku kinko hayo cool. mm -hmm. and basically this uh indicator basically is a one glance equilibrium mm -hmm. uh where it measures uh the market and we make our you know decisions in the market uh mm -hmm. from that uh from that uh indicator uh -huh. all right so and there's a few other things in there on the uh screen uh basically on the there you go, we're uh -huh. back. So there's a few other things that we uh, look with the indicator. You have something uh -huh. called a TK cross, uh -huh. which is the Tekinsen and the Kinjinsen. Uh -huh. And what that is, is it basically helps you make a decision also if you're gonna jump on a, in a buy or sell. Just say that again? Tekinsen and Kinjinsen, we call it the TK cross. Uh -huh. the TK and basically, cross. you know, it's a red and blue line. Uh, uh -huh. You know, and basically it tells you, okay, if the red line, just simple. If the red line is above the blue line, you look to buy. If uh -huh. the red line is below the blue line, you look to sell. Mm -hmm. And this is just another form of indications that can help you. You know, mm -hmm. so <clears throat> I usually tell everyone to make sure you have about three to four indicators that you go with. Mm -hmm. Because the stronger your confirmation, mm -hmm. the stronger the chances you're going to come out and profit in the market. Uh, what is the maximum number of indicators I can... 
I can go with. I always recommend maybe three to four. I or three to four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I daily, <laughs> like, uh, what is the maximum number? As much as you want to learn. You can, right. Yeah, He's so indicator coming. is just basically something that would help you follow a strategy. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can have as much indicator as you want, but you would be confused yourself because there's so much information behind each indicator. <laughs> All right, so the TK, what, what do you call TK it? TK cross. The TK cross and, and the... The TK cross is basically stands for the Tekinson, which uh -huh. is the red line, uh -huh. and the Kinjinson, which is the blue line. So uh -huh. the Tekinson is is basically the signal line. It tells you the direction, uh -huh. you know, of the candles. So uh -huh. you have candlesticks. That's basically you have buyers and sellers in the market fighting. Uh -huh. That's really what it is. Right. And basically the Tekinson, which is the red line, tells you the direction uh -huh. of the candles. All right. So maybe in brief, uh, the four indicators. So Some four indicators that you go with so, uh, so basically, from time to time. So the Ikimoku Kinko Hayo, which mm -hmm. is the cloud, mm -hmm. that's basically an indicator that we use, okay? Mm -hmm. The relative strength index, mm -hmm. which is the RSI, mm -hmm. that's another indicator we use. Mm -hmm. Then you have, uh, that goes with the cloud, I use the TK cross, which is the red and blue line. So for example, like I said, if it goes, if the red cross above, that's a buy, if the red cross below, that's a sell. Mm -hmm. And then also dealing with the, uh, the cloud, every time you have a dip in the cloud, it considers it like a magnet. So mm -hmm. a magnet does what? Pull towards you right uh -huh, uh -huh. so it pulls the candles towards the cloud wonderful so uh out of this uh what we are seeing on screen some trade has been absolutely made. so for example the the market here this is gbp usd so mm -hmm. Most we have probably thousands of people that basically as in this trade right now. We went in it for a sell mm -hmm. uh, this morning, so everybody will be sitting now waiting for it to hit our take profit. Mm -hmm. And when you hit a take profit, it's kind of mm -hmm. like a payday for you. It's a payday. And then, <laughs> and this can happen multiple times throughout the day. Mm -hmm. All right. So how long do you have to wait? It just depends on the market. Sometimes mm -hmm. this thing can hit in seconds. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it could hit in minutes. Sometimes mm -hmm. it could take days. All but right. you know, it's in seconds. You know, it can definitely happen. Especially when we talked about volatility in the market. Mm -hmm. So if you have news that comes out, basically that would help the trade hit faster. So another thing I learned from Lenin, you have to be patient in this. Business. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh. If you're not patient, you will learn patience. <laughs> 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 hey, what do you have on screen right now? So basically, <laughs> this is uh, off of the your cell phone. Uh -huh. This is what you call MetaTrader 4. So if you see the mm -hmm. logo to the top right, I mean left, mm -hmm. that's what you can actually uh, go to your app store and download. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. We can <coughs> show you and give you this information, but you have to learn it. Because mm -hmm. if you just go in and try to figure this out, you'll be completely lost. And mm -hmm. this is where the education part comes mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. But what you have on the left is the quotes. And that's basically the currency pairs. Mm -hmm. That is, you know, one country mm -hmm. versus the next country. Mm -hmm. And like I told you in the beginning, you know, the economy, you know, uh, politics, mm -hmm. you know, those things affect, you know, that particular country. So what it's mm -hmm. telling you is, you know, like, for example, to the top, you have AUD, mm -hmm. CHF. You know, under it, you have AUD, CAD. That's the Australian. Australian dollar versus the Canadian dollar. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that means, okay, for example, in, the, in Australia, mm -hmm. if something positive comes out news-wise, it would strengthen the Australian dollar uh -huh. and it would weaken the Canadian dollar. Mm -hmm. and it's, versus, it's like a fight, mm -hmm. you against somebody else. Mm -hmm. And basically that's all it's doing. So like mm -hmm. the next one is AUD uh, JPY, which is the Australian dollar mm -hmm. versus the Japanese yen. Mm -hmm. Same thing, if something you know comes out that weakens the Australian dollar, then the Australian dollar would drop against the Japanese yen and the mm -hmm. Japanese yen would go up against it. So mm -hmm. in that example, you would wanna be in a cell. Mm -hmm. And that's how you kind of you basically jump in trades. All right, I like that. So it's basically me watching a fight and analyzing the fight. Absolutely. Who's winning? Absolutely. Who's strong? Absolutely. <laughs> I feel like what do we have on screen right now? So this is this would be you know step number two. So the first uh -huh. step would be you choose the pair that uh -huh. you're going to trade. Uh -huh. Okay. The second step would be basically entering. Your margin. So if you to the top on the market execution, mm -hmm. you have 0 0.05. Now this is the key thing that when I'm training, I tell people to focus on. Mm -hmm. That is called a lot size, mm -hmm. and that number fluctuates depending on your account balance. Mm -hmm. 
So one of the biggest questions that people always have is how much money do you make from doing it? Mm -hmm. Your lot size is going to determine the amount of money you make from it. And mm -hmm. we train you guys, we train everyone to use one to three percent of their account balance to actually enter and ex exit the market. Mm -hmm. So all the lot size is is the currency unit you're going to buy or sell. All right. So you encourage people to use what percentage? Absolutely, one to three percent. Uh -huh. It's proper risk management because if you don't, you could have a bad day. Uh -huh. So one to three percent. Make sure it gives the market you know, time to move, mm -hmm. you know, and is, is everybody is a perfect trader. Mm -hmm. For example, what goes up must do what? Must come down. And what goes down? <laughs> well, go up soon, Dad. Absolutely. You're, uh. you're, you're, ab you're a great <laughs> trader now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's all awesome traded. All right. What, is, what do you have on the screen right now? So right here is basically after you get into a trade, uh -huh. you have the trades to the This left. is the third step. When no, I'm using the actually, mobile app. This is, this is great news. This uh -huh. is the trade is done. Uh -huh. You basically made money. All right. So, for example, you see to the top GBP versus JPY. That's the Great Britain pound versus uh -huh. the Japanese yen. So, basically, he went in that trade at 5 cents, 0 uh -huh. 0.05. And if you look to the far right, he made $3.72 from that trade. Uh -huh. So, the 0 0.05 is what we said the lot size is. Uh -huh. So, that determines the amount of money you'll make from that. So, the bigger that number is, the more you would make on the far right. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's this is like the end result, you know. So when I when we look at you know the end result of this, you know what I do is I tell people I tell everyone mm -hmm. you have to trade and think like the banks because mm -hmm. the banks do this every day. Mm -hmm. Every day you're asleep, they're in the market trading, making money on your money mm -hmm. while you're asleep. They take the profit, keep the profit, and put your money back in the bank. Wow, this, that's a fact. So that is what the banks do in every right? single day. <laughs> While I'm sleeping. Every country, that's, that's how the banks make their money. And I can do that with my own money. You could do it with your own money. Mm -hmm. uh, in the bank. I can do it with my own money in the bank. No, uh -huh. they do it for you. All right. And but say I want to trade and I want to put some money in it. Where do I deposit my money? So you have uh, a broker uh -huh. that you would, uh, you, would, you would basically have. It's a platform that uh -huh. you would use. Each country or you know, different you know, persons, I know you guys have a few brokers over here uh -huh. that you use, but uh, you would deposit into a broker. Uh -huh. And the, bro the broker is kind of, it's like a bank in a sense. Uh -huh. So you deposit your money into a broker. The broker syncs with this app that's called MetaTrader 4. So they're uh -huh. communicating with each other. Uh -huh. You go in the market, you trade, you make money. Mm -hmm. If you're ready to withdraw, you withdraw back through the broker, back into your bank account. All right. Uh, when it comes to putting my money in the bank, uh, we have KDIC, uh, which are the, the, they insure the deposits. When I deposit money, it's insured by a body uh, so that when the, bank, when the bank messes up, I can still get my money mm -hmm. even uh, if it's over a period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, so is my money safe when I put it? And yes. uh, this broker. So with the uh -huh. broker, he could explain more about the brokers you guys have in yeah, like Yeah, uh, with the broker, like for example, the two brokers we have in the country, mm -hmm. uh, our money is safe, uh, guaranteed because again, they are a capital market authority regulated. Mm -hmm. And so uh, CMA having uh, a forex, uh, an online forex uh, uh, department mm -hmm. basically oversees that to see to it that uh, whatever monies we deposit uh, with the broker is very safe. It's very safe. Yes. All right. When I look at my balance and see 1,000 shillings and uh, 83 cents, mm. the 83 cents uh, doesn't really matter to me as much. But <laughs> the 83 cents matters so much when it comes to this trading. Absolutely. You know, I tell everybody, you know, every penny counts mm -hmm. because you have something called compound interest mm -hmm. all right so like i was explaining with the banks for example if you was to get a mortgage on a house mm -hmm. you know you would get a 20 30 year mortgage and within that time frame with the interest mm -hmm. compound interest you're going to pay almost two three times what the house is worth mm -hmm. all right so when you have pennies that you could compound into larger amounts you know any any amount any profit is good profit that's what i tell all my students mm -hmm. you know because here's the thing that's money you didn't have mm -hmm. so for example let's just say you was to put a thousand uh kenyan shillings in the bank mm -hmm. right at the end of the if you just put it in the bank and you left it in the bank for mm -hmm. a month mm -hmm. at the end of the month how much would you have there would it be more or would it be less uh it depends on the type of account I if it's it. just a regular checking account 
that you have, you may have a fee. I don't know if you guys have fees over here, bank uh -huh. fees. Mm -hmm. But if you if you just leave the money in the bank, mm -hmm. you know, it's not going to grow. Yes, in a current account, obviously. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I always tell you know all the students think like you know, if you have that money in a bank where it's not growing anything, even if you was to make five dollars or basically you know a, a five percent growth on that in the market, that's still a plus. Mm -hmm. So the eighty three cents. I love every penny I can get from it. All right, every penny counts when it every comes to trading. Counts. All right, so how can people get to this level you guys are at with the trading from scratch? Okay. Somebody who has never traded before is watching us right now and would like to be like you guys. So what I would what I would recommend for somebody that's that haven't traded before and, and and is watching, you know, I would I would tell you first, you know, you have to put your mind to it that hey, this is not you know it's it's nothing easy. You have to put in the work to to learn. It's kind of it's education, mm -hmm. you know. So the education part of it is you know where we we basically promote a company uh, that's called I M Academy, mm -hmm. you know. So that's what we we actually do. And through that academy, it teaches you how to trade from not knowing anything about the market to being an advanced trader. And mm -hmm. like he put a disclaimer, for example, you can start trading today, and two three months later, you can be a better trader than me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter you know who who you are you know as long as you put in the work and you actually go and analyze the market from the knowledge and information you was able to get mm -hmm. then basically the sky's the limit there's no cap on on your money there's no cap on the knowledge you can receive from the market or from different academies uh, basically that's what you shoot for so this where we started was you know from a I am I am Academy you know then depending on you know your growth for me basically you know uh, I was able to build a, you know a brand mm -hmm. where basically I have a huge following base that I train and you know, and that's uh, Mr. GJ Pipwalking dot com. So mm -hmm. if you wanted to go on Mr. GJ Pipwalking dot com, mm -hmm. you could actually go and kind of see my journey mm -hmm. from when I started to train and see, you know, what we do. Mm -hmm. You know, see the um, the record right now. You know, the record from me and my system is ninety eight percent. So that means ninety eight percent of the time we're profiting in the market. Mm -hmm. Two percent we're having a bad day, mm -hmm. and that's pretty strong. You know, in any you know with anybody that's trading, usually mm -hmm. they tell you. A good trader is 60%, 40%. Uh -huh. That means you win in 60% of the time, and you're you losing 40% of the time. Uh -huh. Right now, we're, I'm, I'm proud to say confident that you know we're 98%. And wow. you know, I, you know, just the experience of being in a different country. You could do this anywhere in the world, as long as you have Wi-Fi. They mm -hmm. picked me up from the airport uh, <laughs> a few days ago, mm -hmm. and from the airport to my hotel room, when I was checked in. He was, I was wondering why he was sitting so close to me. Every trade I jumped in, he jumped in the same trade. Mm -hmm. He was making money with me on the way to the airport. Wow. Every <laughs> you know, Mr. That's why you have him on set. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have him on set. Thank you very much. How can they, uh, how can they get to the website again? So the website <laughs> To see your is, journey and your classes. So the website <laughs> is called Mr. GJ. Just look them straight into the eyes Mr. right there. Mr. GJ uh -huh. Pipwalking.com. So mm -hmm. M-R- G J P I P W A L K I N G dot com and pip walking is something a terminology we use in the market. Pips mm -hmm. is basically you making money in money. the market. Yes. All right. So pip, pip yeah, walking. Pip absolutely. P I B. P I P. We are about to be pip walking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Yes. Uh, uh Before you go, since you understand this uh, this country better than him. Yes, yes. Uh, during the elections, you know, uh, one year to the elections and after the elections, we always have problems in this country. Yes. Uh, we're looking at history, yeah? Yes. And it affects a lot of business. Is yes. this one business that is affected by this kind of situation? No, the geopoliticals of, of, of uh, especially uh, Kenya, uh, mm -hmm. will not affect uh, this market because mm -hmm. uh, we are dealing with an international market. It's mm -hmm. an international market platform mm -hmm. whereby the only effects to this market are, like he mentioned, uh, the, the the superpowers mm -hmm. that is real that is a fact because mm -hmm. uh, they are the guys who call shots in this market but mm -hmm. whatever happens in this country mm -hmm. as long as you are doing forex trading mm -hmm. uh, you are not touched at all so you we can still trade 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 you still Let's not trade, be scared trade. The, the, uh. only, the only day we can't trade is uh, on on christmas day on christmas day yes <laughs> but the rest of the days <laughs> when it is uh, a weekday you uh. are able to trade is all that through. official actually yes, it's we official all no over trading the, on all, christmas, all over christmas the world day or it's only on christmas day 
Wow. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you very much, guys, for coming through. I'm looking forward to having you again, Len uh, Lenin. I'm looking forward to having you again as well. When are you leaving the country? I'm leaving on Thursday, mm -hmm. but I should be, you know, back here uh, next mm -hmm. month on the 21st. Also, if they miss you this time, they can catch you next time. Absolutely. Thank you very much, guys, for coming. We appreciate you. Thank and you. Uh, Forex trading is another way you can make some money, uh, courtesy of my friends here, Lenin and David, on Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Y in the Morning. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses on social media. We still have a question on our Facebook. Are you preparing for your retirement? And how could I forget that? Are you guys preparing for your retirement? Absolutely. You yeah. know, like I told you, I'm 31 years old. Mm -hmm. And right now, the, the trip here was a last minute. They told me to go ahead and come over. We mm -hmm. schedule out your day. Uh -huh. I was able to leave everything and just come. Uh -huh. you know, and, and that's the thing, you know, financial freedom. Uh -huh. You know, so right now I consider myself retired. You mm -hmm. know, I, I just sold the mic city. Yeah? I said, yes, right now I consider myself a 30, 31 year old retired young man, uh -huh. you know, because like I so, you know, told you uh, when I got the call and they said that, hey, we have an event set up for you mm -hmm. within two days. I was basically on a plane heading to Kenya. And, you and know, that is the power of financial freedom right there. Oh, absolutely. So what I'm getting from you uh, when we talk retirement, they should not be looking at 65 oh, or 70. True, 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 true. You can retire at 31. Yes, See, yes, and yes. Here's the thing. This is what what everybody, you know, it could be Kenya. It could be the United States, it could be the Bahamas. What they teach you in school is, you know, the 40-40 plan. Basically, you, you go, to <laughs> mm -hmm. you, you basically, you live 40 years of your life, mm -hmm. right? You go to work for 40 years mm -hmm. to retire on 40% of your income. And right now, you know, before we, you know, end, you know, I didn't want to forget there was a guy that I was introduced from, from Lenny, and it was uh, Dr. Sam. Yes. And, you know, his whole vision of you know, us trading, me being able to train him and teach him how to trade was to impact 5,000 Kenyan Ukes. And, you know, that vision of, you know, and I just met, I just met Lenny for the first time. Mm -hmm. I led Dr. met Dr. Sam for the first time. And, you know, for, it's like you share that same, that same passion mm -hmm. where you want to change, you know, where you're from, mm -hmm. you know. You want to change lives. You, you want to change lives. Uh, you want to eradicate poverty. That was huge where, uh -huh. you know, he wants to change, you know, 5,000 Kenyan youth. Mm -hmm. young young uh, men and, and, and ladies, mm -hmm. you know, by learning how to trade in the market because, mm -hmm. you know, I think when we was having a conversation, you know, you know, the average, you know, person here, you know, makes what, maybe two, three hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. There is so much way, easy ways where you can basically make you know, mm -hmm. I was making I made a statement with uh with my friend over there yesterday while I was training. Uh -huh. You know, a group, we were in a group. I made 300 and something dollars within what, maybe a few hours. Yeah, yeah. And somebody has to wait for a whole month. They have to make after a, whole, a, hard a labor. whole month. You know, and mm. we're sitting down in a restaurant, talking, laughing, having fun amongst ourselves, mm -hmm. and trading, mm -hmm. making money on our cell phones and our computers. And I was able to make that basically in a few hours, and somebody worked a whole month. So, and and that was in, that was a, a a small day because I was complaining. Mm -hmm. You know, she asked me if I had a good day trade, and I, I told her I said this is one of my slowest days ever. Uh -huh. And she said, you know, she made a statement. She said, no, you should be grateful because somebody have to work a whole month. The waitress here mm -hmm. is not going to make that all month. You know, <laughs> that's and, how and, you looked about that. And, and that uh -huh. was, yeah, and that, uh -huh. you know, that's that's the the passion that you know, Dr. Sam, Lenny, you know, Helen, you know, everybody they want to change, you know, the kids' lives, you mm -hmm. know, you know. People that struggling, you know, in the economy, mm -hmm. you know, that's working 40 years, mm -hmm. you know, that don't have nothing to retire on. You said that's the question. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, are you going to, you know, get ready for your retirement? Mm -hmm. Most people aren't. Mm -hmm. They can't. And yes. that's why you see after they retire at 60, mm -hmm. they still have to go back and work again. Yes, stats show that 96% of Kenyans uh, pay that pay that fee, uh, are forced to pay it. Only 4% <laughs> pay it uh, yeah. voluntarily, wow. which, is, which, is, which is worrying, by the way. Wow. And uh, thank you very much for the knowledge because you can retire that you want. You Absolutely. can retire at 35. You yes. can retire at 40. Oh, yes. You can define your own life. You can define your Absolutely. own destiny. Okay. When we talk retirement, we are not talking about 65 or no. 70 years yes, anymore. True, true, true. <laughs> Courtesy of Dave and Lenin here. So be sure to head to our Facebook and answer that question. We'll be sharing your opinion towards the end of the show. Don't go nowhere. Don't touch that down. Thank you. Mm -hmm.